Yeah. This is Lil Mike. Oh, what up, my boy? Shit, how you coming? <laughs> it's good, my boy. Shit, hey, you must, hey, you must be with butter right now. Huh? You must be with butter right now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shit, uh. I just hit whack ass up. I'm trying to see where he at. He's been trying to, uh, find himself all day. Oh, yeah, we waiting on whack. Hold on, let me call whack. Right, remote. Hey, 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 big money, hey, big money, Remo, how you coming, short? Butter, what's the word, my boy? Man, I can't call it, man. You know, I'm chilling on the block with the block. Man, I'm ready. Right now. I'm seeing you on mic shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, he definitely got to be on the block. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, man. Hit the rack. And get yeah, back whack on the phone. Yeah, he about to get off in a minute. Uh, hey, oh. tell Mike I ain't forget about him. I'm going to tap in with him, though. Hey, hey, look, Mike. Hey, Remo, say he ain't forget about you. He's going to tap in with him. Right now. <laughs> Get me in right now, I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, butter. Yeah, Bobby thought to him. Oh, man, yeah, I just started playing it. Yeah. Hey, butter, that, that mic, bro. Come hit that hit that thing, come off that, that line, bro. Come off that mute, bro. the mic butter bumpy got a question for you yo all right what's up buddy yo who that this bumpy hey, what's that word man hey man hey look so bro you know your name be getting ran all day bro about this shit that's going on this snitching shit i mean this snitching little situation on you feel me? You, Lil J, we done ran the content. We don't know what's going on. We just listened to Rashinda say a whole bunch of something. We don't know what's going on. What's your side of the story, bro? Man, hey, look, when they come to that shit, bro, my, my rappy blood died, bro. My victim still out here. I am fourth grade. I ain't got shit to say until Shinda come home, bro. I'm fourth grade, because our victim, he's still doing what victims do, bro. Uh, but yeah, though. Hey, so so okay. Look, we, we we I read your I read your statement. You feel me up here? Do you feel like you was telling in that statement? I ain't tell nothing. So so okay. So is that is that work fake that we read? The one where it's saying that you painted the screen, said that they uh, painted the scene, saying that oh we hopped out the car. It was two people that were shooting. Blood was. Man, hell nah, boy, cause it wasn't. Bro, it's only one motherfucking shooting, bro. Blood, the dude shot each other, Otuga. It wasn't two people shooting. Both of them niggas shot each other. Him and they both hit each other. Boy, blood died. They charged us with blood murder, bro. Oh, folks, great. We got charged with felony murder because dude, our victim. Y'all was with him. Y'all. So since y'all was with him and the situation popped off, they charged y'all all with the same situation. They charged. Yeah, they charged us. With, they charged us with blood. They charged us with blood body. Oh, folks, great. Cause I. Uh, the victim said that we tried to rob him on two of me, Lil J, everybody in the car, even the bitches had more money than him. Fuck, we robbing dudes, fuck. Oh, bro, but it was whole other shit, man. You know? All right, so, so, so now look, this is my question. What would, what would make this nigga, what would make this nigga Lil J go and, and push the line the way he pushing the line to, to make you out to be a rat? All right, so look, me and Lil J, we on first grade. Me and Lil, Lil J had that shit going on with that, with that shit with them trannies on first grade. Within the same 24 hours with the tranny, he exposed him. He tried to expose me, make it seem like I was telling on him on two grade. And my shit covered up his bullshit because I'm one of them, I'm a face of my hood. Shit. Like, I'm too, I really get busy in the streets. Like, what folks know you, you know, I'm too. Like, I really get wild for real, so. My little sister was getting wild here. I got a wild, like a whole crowd full of wild niggas. So, you know, fun of them looking at me crazy too. Nobody paying attention to that little J gay shit. Nobody care about that shit. They, what the fuck is he got going on? Folks tell him, what the fuck? So, so, the, so the little, the, the, the little tranny stuff is what sparked it up. And then he Yo, had to just defend up? himself what on up? What up, OG? What up? Butter in here? Yeah, I'm talking, yeah, talking yeah, up yeah, with him right, right now. All right, well. See, I see the difference with Chicago and California is we have a strictly paperwork-based situation in our streets. Fuck all that assumption and the fucking assuming. I told him earlier that I didn't know nothing about none of this shit. 
I came to the room. Somebody mentioned, yo, whack, we see the picture of you and Butter. I was like, yeah, we was just with him down there. Niggas start hollering, he's a snitch. Chicago niggas hollering, he's a snitch. I told niggas I don't know nothing about that. Man, a lot of them niggas don't even know hold me on. back on Twitter. Hold on, brother. Hold on, because we just like, we I, just broke it down. All you got to do is lay back right now. Yeah, just yeah, lay yeah. Back. Lay back. We just been listening for two hours, reading paperwork and listening to records, right? So niggas is saying dead bodies and all this. I hear 1090 Jake. 1090, what the fuck? What is what they talking about? He sent me a bunch of content. All right, with the listening to the content, this is what I discovered. Now you tell me, butter, how how on point I am, right? right. What I'm discovering is five dead people: Kai, a Cali nigga named Blood, right? O- Odie, King Von, and Bert, right? Right. Right. I'm discovering that these individuals were all implemented after their death. So niggas talked about who killed who after their death. They already dead, right? There's two other people involved, which is Lil J and Butter, right? right. Y'all get online. Y'all going back and forth. There's accusations about transgender shit and this, this, this. But Lil J in jail. And I'm understanding, nigga, if you in jail and a nigga told on you, you got some work. If a nigga told on your mama, it's some work to implement that. Nobody has that. Then comes another female, I guess, who went to jail for murder, attempted murder. Yeah, she's she still sitting in that home, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You went to jail. Lil' Jay went to jail. Y'all went to jail for your own cases. But she says niggas gave statements. I didn't get no statement. I went to jail for what I did. Butter went to jail for what he did. Uh, King Lil J went to jail for what he did. Even with that, she never says anybody gave a statement on her or it's not provide no paper. We got, no a, we got a victim, bro. Our victim still alive, man. Mook. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay, but bitch, bitch, what bitch, I'm bitch, saying, old buddy, is this. Yeah. So, oh, bro, that's Shanda right there. So, so, the best thing that happened for you is I took that picture with you. Because when I took the picture with you, they brought it to me, and I'm like, oh, shit, right? The content I said was, well, shit, if y'all saying that's what happened, I'm going to get backlash, that's so me. But in my head, now I want to look into it. With me looking into it, I see five dead people who got implemented after they was dead. I see a female locked up. You and Lil' J went to jail, got out. And y'all just doing a bunch of back and forth shit, sure. talking with each other, having that go. Now, put the, where that content I, uh, when we was in the room, so he could hear it. Uh, which one? Called, which one you want, RG? His man and, and, and told him that that uh, I said we pressed him and fucking uh, well, here we go. This that big Chuck dumb shit. Who got audio in here? Hey Rod. Hey Rod. All right. So Big Chuck comes with the uh, clickbait title, as if Wack say he pressed the nigga and all this shit. And you know, I get it. Clickbait title to get their views. I tell a lot of niggas uh, listen to it because you be then tripped off the clickbait and listen to it is be the total opposite. Um, this has happened to me. This happened to me with Famous. Famous came over and told me the nigga uh, Jay Diggs said some crazy shit. I flew off the deep end, violated, disrespected the nigga. Come to find out what Famous said never happened. Now it's on in the streets. That's what it is. I didn't say what I said. He didn't say what he said. Ultimately, we shouldn't have an issue. But my ass believe what another nigga said. I don't believe what no nigga say until a nigga bring me the audio. You can't bring me the audio or the And that's why I fucked up at, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was just kneeling, bro. Like, I, you know, like I was rotating with you earlier, bro. I was in the club. My friends called my, they called my bro. They like, man, my, y'all need to be careful down there. Whack, whack them old clubhouse saying it. Like, there we are, man. Hey, boy. Get up here, boy. 
Hey, yeah. and see, look, I can only say so much, shorty, because I can't speak for another motherfucker. Cause yeah. They call it his phone. I really just, I, I, I acted out of. Man, what the fuck? Um, bro, who's just? No, we gonna let you in right here, here too. What the fuck? So, I, so. Ultimately, I'm bring it like I'm I'm wrong I'm first grade, so I can admit that. But we gonna let you hear because for me to leave there, I didn't know. All the thing they told me was that's the nigga that got into with Mickey True. I'm like, yo, tell that nigga come in here. They hollered your name two, three times. I hollered. I said, nigga, come on in here, holler at me, right? So I didn't think about nothing at the time, right? Until I get the clubhouse the next day and they go to saying what they say and I'm like well I don't know nothing then I say well shit maybe that's why the nigga was hesitant coming in there cause everybody know if it's some telling allegations is there I'm gonna address it right cause I'm trying but then you tell me today <clears throat> shit whack <clears throat> I didn't hear nobody so so <clears throat> at that point now, I don't know nothing about uh, G Wayne say yeah the nigga with the rap a lot thing Oh, so, okay, I didn't really notice that. I wouldn't have gave a fuck if I did notice that. For one, I'm not a jury thief. Two, I don't got problems with niggas that rap a lot. I got a problem with a nigga that own rap a lot. I don't got a problem with niggas at rap a lot. Now, if the niggas at rap a lot feel like they want to try to get some brownie points and insert themselves, <clears throat> then I cross that bridge when I get to it. But as far as me, got a fucking issue with niggas tied to rap a lot. That ain't what I'm on. I got a problem with that. the nigga, not the people that sign to. Because a nigga that signed to rap a lot today, the next month be signed to Empire. Right? So, you know, this ain't no motherfucking label beef. This ain't bad boy death row. I got an individual issue with a nigga I've been knowing damn near two decades. But nevertheless, A-Rod, you got it uh, keyed up. And whoever the niggas is that called your man, he really need to check them niggas because them niggas ain't his friends because them niggas drove y'all to say some disrespectful shit that I could have took a certain way but as an OG, I got to understand what I'm hearing and what's going on, right? And understand the niggas make honest mistakes <clears throat> and that my first approach is to have a conversation. So first, let me let you hear what was said on Clubhouse and then we take it from there. Come on. Yo, what's the word, gang? So, yeah, man, we got this news report when it comes down to WAC 100, J. Prince Jr., J. Prince. Now, apparently, WAC 100 was on Clubhouse. He was speaking on running into FBG Butter. Now, when he ran into FBG Butter, he said that he originally told him to come inside the area that he was in. And Butter was like, you know what I'm saying? Basically, he he wasn't going over the, you know, possibility of, you know, the rumors of him being a rat. You know, um, WAC 100 always speaking on rats and shit exposing him so you know he didn't want to you know address whack so whack said he started calling his name so eventually he came in and um you know they took a picture he said he didn't really know who fbg butter was he just knew that um they was like you should meet him now he go to rap a lot part so one of the guys that was with butter they heard that whack 100 was in that building and apparently they didn't want to answer you know, some of his homies that be standing outside, I guess, you know, on security, seen the dude with the rap a lot chain and say he had introduced himself to them guys that was outside, but he did not go in the inside of the building. And a lot of people are saying that this is possibly coming because of the beef between WAC 100 and J Prince Sr. as well as Junior. Now, me personally, I, I, I could see why Buddy wouldn't want to go in that studio because he don't know what type of energy dude on, you know, far as like what, what, what type of concerns he need to have going into that building. You know, pretty much this guy is beefing with, you know what I'm saying, my CEOs. That's what I would take, right? Because he a rapper, he signed a rap a lot. If he beefing, if Wack is beefing with J Prince and J Prince Jr., you know, is beefing with his CEOs. So, he probably was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna put myself in that type of situation to possibly get this chain snatched. Then it all be on the news. You know what I'm saying? Be all over around the internet, all on the blogs. You know, California in possession of a rap a lot chain. And if y'all didn't know, so back when Mace last week, when Mace and um, Cameron had mentioned Jay Prince, they were saying how 
he don't pretty much go at the West Coast. Like anybody who talks something about Drake, he usually in their defense. And in this case with Kendrick, you know, TDE, he didn't say anything to top top about Top Dog as well as to Kendrick. You know, as if, you know, that's just something he don't want to play with. You know, I, I could be wrong, but this is what the internet is saying. This is what people are pulling from the comments. You know, a lot of people are leaving them type of comments like, where that energy for Kendrick? Where that energy? Why you got all that energy for Mason Cameron when Kendrick just destroyed Drake, allegedly, right? So, it's just, to me, bro, honestly, it's just a whole puzzle when it comes to the J Prince and WAC 100 thing. You know, they've been beefing for some years now. And I don't know, are they ever going to cross path? Are they ever going to cross path? And that's that's the question. And what happens in that moment? Do one of them demonstrate? You know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff that they've been talking about online. You know, what comes behind it? Now, I'm going to play this footage as well as I'm going to drop some more audio. If y'all didn't hear the original audio of um, Wax speaking on Jay Prince and the whole May situation. But y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. First thing I do is, you know, kiddo, kiddo Curry. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck with kiddo? Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's P. I was like, okay, cool. But I didn't see Adam and none of them niggas even mentioned to me that this was the niggas. Yeah, because that other nigga stayed outside with us. He didn't even come in there. The one with the rap a lot change. Because they thought, listen, G Wayne, they thought we was on some, they thought I was going to get on some bullshit. Yeah, that nigga stayed outside. Yeah, they thought I was gonna get on some bullshit, but I, I really didn't know. Yeah, so I, I can't. I didn't know that now. I can't remember his name though. He said his name. I'm about to catch backlash about that. But that's on me for not knowing. See, with me, Jay Prince got the popularity vote. With Cam and uh, Mace, he don't got the popularity vote. And 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 Mace is arrogant. Cam is arrogant. Well, hold on, so don't be right there. What you gonna do? Right there. They didn't say what that. <laughs> Yo, hey Rod, hey Rod, stop it. Yo, butter. That's all I said about that. Yo. Yo. Y'all, y'all can hear me? Yo, that's all that was said. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't, I don't like, on some real shit, like, bro, Midwest, so it's like, he ain't really thinking none of, like, I, ain't, I, don't I didn't know, listen, like, I, didn't, I didn't even see it. Like, he ain't really think none of that shit, like, I, but, but I, hold I, on, I butter, 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 I'll just but butter, butter, check it out, speak for itself, if there, he God. didn't, if he getting pressured, I saw him, yeah, I didn't I, see I, the I, chain, I, I, I didn't I, see I, the chain, and didn't give a fuck if I did, I'm not a chain snatcher. <laughs> I don't be. It do hit different. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely get what you're saying. Yeah, man. I never seen the chain. I'm just getting told the next day that it was a dude it's with a rapper like that. That's my background. Let me yeah, get yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> right? So, <clears throat> I want to know where they say we said we was gonna take the chain and we pressured you. I'm saying, nigga, I ain't know, I ain't know nothing. And when I get to the room, everybody, yeah, I, he's a I, shit, I, he's I, a snitch. I, I get all the shit no today and I can't see where they prove you a snitch. Hey, at the end of the day, man, you know, it's, it all come down to the to the popularity thing, you know what I'm saying? On oh, to the uh, the motherfucker. Yeah, well, I'm just saying in my book. Too, you gotta think about it. He, he, look in he, my he, book, he butter. Chicago. In so, my yeah. book, from what they fit me, all the shit, I don't see nobody telling. That's me. So unless a nigga got something else, right? I had to go do my research because I didn't know nothing about what a nigga was talking about. Which all I knew was Mickey True. I ain't no shit else until Friday when niggas was like, yo, whack, you took a picture, this nigga this, this nigga that, you this nigga, Chicago niggas coming over here saying this shit, cool, I hear 1090, yo, bro, what's this shit? He sent me all this shit, <clears throat> we just went over it right now for two hours. I don't see what you yeah. told on nobody. 1090 10, don't like Yellow Boy, man, you know what I'm saying? No, no but you missing the point. Like yellow Boy, he came What by, he said, but look, what he sent me, doesn't show me no telling. I don't see it. That's me. So, you know, uh, 
Cause you know, a nigga tell me a nigga told you gotta send me the shit. You know, I ain't gonna lie on some real shit, man. You know, I, I be I be around him. I be locked in with a lot of. I see, I'm still in the streets too, man. So like, yeah. when yeah, I get yeah, home, yeah. man, I had I had to I had to provide a lot of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Then, you know, they became entertainment. I started getting paid for the shit. But like, when it comes to this shit, that's why I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I took I took offense of the situation, and uh, and it didn't even really did think. I just ran. I just know. On me, but uh, I really want to let Shorty speak for himself, though, man, yeah, he because he was the one getting the calls. He was the one. <clears> where, he, where he at, brother? You know, I really where he at? Where, I don't know. What, did he, he, him on he should be. He should be in here somewhere. Hold on, off the. Uh, let me text his phone, man. Let's see, let's see if he joined the whoop yet, man. <laughs> Yeah, y'all yeah, man, yeah, bro. You up here? What's his name, bro? Dar- oh. hey, hey, he says Dariana Dunn. Yeah, it's the pie, no. All right, he coming up. <clears throat> all right, all right, go ahead, man. It, it's better when he explain more because yeah, I don't like but, stuff. But here go the thing. Like, here go the thing. I don't really know what to say. Sure. I want to like, know who to like. told him. We said we was gonna take a chain or any of that shit. Yo. What up, homie? What's going on? Who said I, we said we gonna take a chain and 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 all this shit? I don't get listen, man. I got a problem with one nigga. A nigga I've been knowing probably since y'all been little kids, right? Twenty some years, right? I don't got a problem with a label. Because I understand a rapper or artist could be signed a nigga today, another nigga tomorrow, right? Right. Now, if that rapper want to choose to get brownie points with his label and attempt some, then that's just something I got to adjust to. But as far as whack running around, <clears throat> tripping on a nigga that got a chain, I don't care about that. I didn't see your chain. And if mm-hmm. I would have saw the chain, it wouldn't have fucking mattered anyway. I just don't know who the fuck said I said or somebody what we said something about we want to take a nigga chain. Right, so look, so look. When, when I got the call, I got it from my people, and they sent me the link or whatever. Now, that, that same clip that you played, uh, the, 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 the fucking, I don't know who that guy is, but I'm, I'm going off the fact that where did he get this information from? Because where are you at? The nigga in there? Hold on, bro. He, he might be in there. We gonna get the nigga in there. G-Wayne in there? Hold on. Let me get the nigga in there. You know, cause I, I, you the one I took a picture with, right? Yeah, yeah. I ain't see your fucking Jerry or your chain. I wasn't looking at it. If I did, I wouldn't have gave a fuck anyway. You know, I ain't tripping. That's you know, out my I, mouth. You and know that's what I'm how I felt too. I felt like I was showing love. You know what I'm saying? Like I know, I know what y'all. Man, bro, I'd have been a bitch ass nigga to come in here talking about tripping on a nigga about a rap a lot chain or taking a nigga chain, cause that wasn't the fucking energy. Right. But I, I, but the problem I got is, don't let no nigga tell you a nigga said something if he can't press play. Right. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, and and that's why that's why I even approached the situation like on some respectful shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't I wasn't trying to to push the button. I wasn't trying to to keep that shit going. You know what I'm saying? Because like I know how my big. But you never heard you never heard nobody say. They want to take your chain. Exactly. That's why I was saying. That's why I was responding to it the way I did. I'm like, that was never what happened. The way Yo, I responded. G-Wayne responded in here? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Did you hear the audio? Uh, uh, the dude for Chicago. You heard the audio, right? He nah, said, I heard the audio. I he said it. it was somebody outside. I don't know who the fuck outside because I'm inside, right? Right. With a rapper lot chain. I don't know if he was outside, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he saw you outside. You came in, nigga. I don't know. Right? He yeah. said, oh, it was a dude out there with a rap a lot uh, Midwest or West chain or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. Now you got to remember. Let me set it up for you. When Remo says Butter's in the hallway, right? Yeah. He say, I say, who the fuck is Butter? 
He said, I the one with the, the Mickey Truth bitch. I said, yeah, I want to holler at him. I created Mickey Truth. I don't fuck with it, right? So mm-hmm. I remember something going on with Mama Duck, the bitch wore a shirt of the nigga that killed the son, like some crazy shit, right? Yeah. So I said, yeah, bring the nigga in here. So Remo called twice, no response. He opened the door. I called. I said, hey, nigga, come on in there and holler at me two, three times, right? Yeah. I said, what's up with the nigga? He don't want to holler at me. I'm not thinking nothing of it. He eventually come in. Right, man. We, we never heard y'all call. Hold on. I I never heard you call me, man. Watch this. Where Remo at? Where Remo at? Remo, Where Remo, at? Yo, uh, Remo, is that not how I went? Yeah, but to oh. uh, to be fair, Butter was all the way at the back of the warehouse. So when I, was I don't know where the nigga was at. You just told me was out there, right? I yeah. didn't think nothing of it at the time at all, right? Yeah, I didn't think nah. nothing of it. On your way, when you were calling him and shit, you ain't know where he was at. You was just saying, come on. Yeah, come yeah, come yeah, on. right? So I'm wondering, like, I say, damn, I don't know where the nigga at. You know, I don't know the nigga. He like, nah, shit, he ain't said nothing. I said, all right, Remo, where the nigga at? Tell the nigga come all at me. So you eventually go out the door, you come in. At the time, brother, I don't think nothing about it, right? It wasn't right. until the next day. We talk about Mickey Truth, bullshit, whatever, right? Come out, take the photos. I don't, I, ain't, I don't jury check no nigga. I don't give a fuck what a nigga got on. I'm not into taking jury. I get a lot of niggas jury back. And if I would have saw rap a lot, right, it wouldn't have mattered to me any motherfucker way, right? It's rap a lot. I don't right. got a problem with artists that rap a lot. I got an issue with a nigga, right? So the next day when I come to Clubhouse, I don't know if they released the picture or snippet. I don't know what the fuck came out. But Adam they, dropped the Adam dropped the picture of us in this store. Okay, there it go. So yeah. when I come to the room, they like, yo, whack, whoop, 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 you was up there with butter. I said, yeah, yeah, I'm just with him at no jumper. Niggas come off they mic. What you on? You know that nigga this. You know that nigga that. That nigga this. I'm like, shit. I don't know nothing about none of that shit. I just, I, I, I didn't know nothing about it. G Wayne say, <clears throat> that's when he say the dude outside. Had a rap a lot, Chain West. So now I'm reflecting on <clears throat> at the time. Is this why he didn't want to come in the room? Yeah. But you never, you didn't know we was trying to get you in the room. Nah, I'm hell like, nah, man. We, cause we back up, we got, we got the TV, we playing the music, we got the TV blasting, we in it, we entertaining yeah. the females. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this bitch with uh. With, Man, I got a basketball player daughter and this bitch with me on, bro. Yeah, I see what time it was, right? So, so at the time I'm on Clubhouse, I'm like, damn. I wonder if that's why he was reluctant to come in the room at the time, butter. I'm, I'm just thinking you outside the door because Rico say butter out here and he calling, I'm calling. It took us about five, six calls to get you, right? So we eventually came. These niggas tell us all this shit, all this shit. I'm listening to it. So, you know, I'm telling niggas, y'all got to go get me some work. I get to work today or that day. I never run it. We run everything today. I listen to everything. I figured out it's five dead niggas, a female that's doing 10, and you and Lil' J. I don't see no paperwork on nobody. I don't see no rats. Right? Yeah. And, and I damn sure wasn't trying to fill a nigga chain. Right? But while I find y'all guilty at of some shit I've been guilty at, is listening to what a motherfucker told me or reading some clickbait and not listening to the content. I've done it. I can't be that mad at you because I've done it my fucking self. Just a lesson learned, right? Yeah. So I didn't yeah, have no out. issues. I didn't have no issues with you that day, right? Yeah. And I don't got no issues with you today because I understand what happened. I don't got no issues with uh the brother that signed the rap a lot uh midwest because he has rap a lot i got no issues with him at all you know what i'm saying period none got no issue with him as an individual or with him as an artist signing rap a lot midwest i have no issues with no rap a lot artist unless that artist got an issue with me i got issues with a nigga because guess what you know how many artists end up having an issue with the ceo later on what i look like getting into it with a nigga behind where he signed to and the same nigga, you know, if it go that way, end up getting into it with the same nigga. Shit don't make sense, right? So, right. I don't roll them dice like that. So, at this point in time, 
to the world. That's where I stand, right? Uh, right. Nobody never tried to press y'all. Rap a lot Midwest chain was never a fucking factor in shit. Man to man when we was face to face. I'm just to stand on that. Okay. And that's why and that's how I approach the situation. When I approached the situation, I was like, you know, I didn't feel I didn't feel like I was being pressured. I felt like they were showing me love, wax showed me love. I ain't feel, I ain't feel like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I, said in the interview, I was like, I stand on my peace. I'm gonna respect the OGs regardless of what the fuck going on. Like I'm a young nigga, so oh. I, I hey, damn, you, know, you on this bitch sound like you crying. Put some motherfucking face in your voice, bitch. Nah, he just just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I'm trolling, bro. I'm done, man. You know what I'm saying, folks? Like, it ain't. I, I, I definitely, I definitely respect you as a man for even bringing me on the platform. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My, my, my big homies was on my ass about it, so that's the reason why I addressed it. Yeah, but here go the thing, though, bro. What the fuck is they on your ass about? Because nowhere does a nigga say they was pressing you if it about to change. He never even said this shit, so. <laughs> hey, what, what is they on your ass about? Are they on your ass about because it's me and you part of rap a lot? Because they can't be on your ass about us saying we going to do stuff because we never did it. Right. No, I think it's one of the factors. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we're going. You know what I'm saying? They they real like right hand man to to take on Prince. That's more so why they on my ass about that. Well, see, in my world, bro, I've been a renegade, right? You know how much backlash I get as the power route signing Crips and shit like this, right? I hear it. I just think it ain't gonna tell me who to be cordial with and who to do business with. That's just right, me Right, don't put me around some of them bad hoes you be with, man, on, right. on, on TV. Look, that, that ain't, listen, that's just me <laughs> as a man. So, how you stand is how you stand. Ain't no niggas to call me telling me I can't be cool with a nigga I want to be cool with for whatever reason. Okay, you know, so, this, uh, so your press, your issue come from y'all personal shit. It don't come from we got you looking no kind of way. You got your eyes closed. I can't even see you looking at me. Okay, I'm gonna fucking eyes. It's getting that eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just want to clear that up because niggas is talking. I'm like, bro, we ain't try to press nobody. We ain't say we was taking a nigga chain. We ain't get fuck about none of that. We just started to try to make sense of what it was. After I come in here, because I knew nothing about butter but Mickey Truth. I didn't know nothing about none of this shit, bro. Right. I don't keep up with it until a nigga do something to me. I'm not looking through it for, yeah. you know, yeah. that. Other than that, I just did my research the last three hours. And for my research, I don't see the nigga as no rat. Personally, I didn't went over uh, 1090 shit. We didn't listen to interviews. Female, him and Lil J, paperwork, we didn't read it. I see five dead people got implemented after they was dead. Uh, so I don't see nothing where I'ma call him a rat. And y'all know what they about me to expose him. I'ma call a nigga a rat if I think he a rat. I don't give a fuck who he is. I don't see Butter as a rat. As today, from what I've seen, I don't see that. So, you know, and I ain't got no, no issues with you or who you signed to. Uh, I don't period at all. So on my end, that's where I stand. I stand on the same. Hey, whack! Stand this on. the nigga with the balls in his head. The bobos. The bobos, yeah, in his head. I couldn't remember what's your name again. Yeah, Darion, Darion the Don. Okay, yeah, I couldn't remember your name, but I was yeah, like, but that's you, the one. Who, yeah, yeah, go ahead. You, you was the one talking, but I didn't hear you say. We was gonna press him again. Nah, we wasn't pressing him. I, I'm the one that asked, like, you starting to rap like he said, yeah, rap a lot of Midwest. I said, that's what's up. He sat down with us when old boy went in the room with y'all. Mm -hmm. He sat outside with us and chopped it up with us. And then when y'all came out, that's when he wanted to. Well, we ain't got no kid. motherfucking green light or no fucking. Nah, no, nah, it no wasn't even like that. On uh, any artist side of fucking rap a lot, bro. Uh, uh, wherever, fuck, South, West, Midwest. Actually, two of the homies, uh, that's from neighborhood Paul Root Bobton, that's related to him, come to find out, represents uh, rap a lot West. I forget their name, but I believe they brothers. They called me a week ago, right? And we got to understand it. 
So, you know, I don't know, you know, niggas be trying to create narratives. I got an issue with one nigga, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. If others choose to get involved, then, then so be it. But as far as I'm concerned, I got an issue with a man. And, and that's all, that's what that is, right? And I've probably been knowing this man uh, probably longer than half you niggas been living, right? So, you yeah. know, that's what that is, right? So, and we deal with that, and we deal with that when the time come. But end of the day, I'm letting the world know. I don't know who pumping the narratives. Uh, Darion, the Don, yeah. uh, ain't nobody try to press him. Uh, Butter, nobody tried to press him. Um when we seen him it was all love last joke we took a few pictures that's all that was i don't if anybody said anything other than that on my end they a motherfucking lie right so, you know next time a nigga tell you something tell him send it to you i i tell my homies in a minute you, you what? Send it to me. If he heard it some way, he got it. Send it. Because these niggas will take some shit and spend some shit, bro. Tell you some shit. You be the flu off the angle. Them niggas over there watching the motherfucking show and you out here in the paint taking a penitentiary chance for nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's social media, man. It's a dangerous place. Niggas write anything under there to get a click. You know what I'm saying? I seen one whack 150 cent gets into it. I clicked this shit. It was a Chinese commercial. Mm. Swear to God. But guess what? It got so many clicks, the motherfucking ads is in there. And guess what? They getting paid. Mm. Whack 150 cent click. You know what I'm saying? You know, they really need to start doing something about that shit and then authenticating that shit and making motherfuckers really making their subtitles about what the content is because it's a lot of people believe it or not that'll just read it and run with it and never listen to it yeah yeah I feel that you know what I'm saying so that's where that's at um so we got understanding that his calls wasn't about them niggas say they was gonna get you and didn't and y'all was getting pressed his calls is about Yo, you signed to this and do this, this, and that. His internal shit. That's their politic. You know, if I see you again, it's going to be the same energy, homie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's you know, definitely going to be the same energy. Yeah, that, that's so wrong, man. That's that respect. Yeah, I ain't, I, got, yeah, I ain't got no issues with who you signed to. Bro, I hope you're winning and I hope it work out for you. Thank you, King. I appreciate that. Right, so you want to hunt inside a clubhouse? I know y'all just downloaded. Anytime y'all niggas need to get something off, you want to kill some time, we 24-7 over here. You know, you got some shit. You want to get out there. I got a media team. This content right here will get out. That way, nephew, butter didn't have to go to his fucking Instagram and do a one-on-one and niggas start. Oh, nigga, you were this, you were that. Everybody able to hear the content, hear me speak. You speak, butter speak, and see that there ain't nobody getting punked, nobody getting pressured. It was a, uh, 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 you know, an honest misunderstanding for what niggas told you, what mm-hmm. you told butter, when niggas didn't listen to it. We listened to the content and we cleaned it up as men, bro. So whatever that another nigga talking about, that's them. What I'm talking about with you is what I just said on this stage, and that's where I'm standing with respect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I respect that, man. Thanks, big homie. All love, man. Love, bro. I appreciate y'all pulling up. Go ahead.